and the four-letter password is totally intentional. <laughs> the, uh, so, we live in Alberta, and kind of what ended up happening is we got involved in the industry, or the uh, energy industry, or at least I did, and we ended up working with an industry partner in energy services companies, and what we found out is that they really have no information systems. It's very much a cowboy industry. You know, there's black stuff in the ground, it makes them money, everybody made it's rich, they love it all. So what we ended up finding out is that 99% of the management of this company is actually driven by month-old financial data. So they didn't actually know how their company was doing until about 45 days after the actual work had occurred. So kind of where we started was we built a resource management system company, or a piece of software that was lightweight, field-ready, and field-deliverable for the energy sector. But from that, we've been able to actually kind of grow it to encompass like the entire operational management of energy services companies. So kind of what you're seeing here is a, a monthly dashboard or a real-time dashboard that kind of gives you up-to-date utilization statistics that actually does financial forecasting on today's approximate revenue versus your monthly trending. It shows you utilization statistics. Uh, if you've got some of the other systems in the system, it'll show you real-time Permit tracking so that you know whether or not your trucks are up to date. It'll show you your CVIP inspections. It'll show you your expired employee qualifications. So what we kind of did is built this all-encompassing resource management dispatch solution for energy service companies. So as you can see the uh, by the euro, a lot of it is Ruby. The first iteration of this, because the product's actually been growing for about three years, is actually based on a PHP 5 framework. So we're actually relegating out the PHP 5 framework and replacing with all Rails and Ruby stuff. So what you see is a pretty basic layout, but we're only going to show you a couple modules today just to save some time. So one of the biggest modules is obviously the dispatch module. So the dispatch module is actually where the resources are dispatched and tracked. And what it kind of represents, and it looks very basic and primitive, but that's based on the market that it goes after. 99% of these companies actually dispatch based on a big white grease board stuck to a wall in an office. So what we kind of did was for privacy concerns, for information sanity concerns, is we kind of digitized the whiteboard. We didn't make the progress of uh, changing the user experience all that uh, different from their day-to-day -day lives. So there's tons of different functionality in here. It's kind of gross and dirty and very uh, overwhelming, but it's based on the fact that everything is preferenced, everything is user pro provided, so there's filtering capabilities, we've integrated with a lot of the real-time GPS uh, truck tracking systems, so that's becoming kind of a de facto standard in the industry is to have real-time GPS, and what we've pretty much done is digitize the entire dispatch portion of the company. So aside from just the dispatch, we've actually got an entire safety management system in here which we call Smart Safety Management Record Tracking. And what it is, is it essentially handles all your WCB claim management. So we found that about 99% of WCB claims were actually related to a resource dispatch. So using the information from the resource dispatches, we've been able to actually populate a ton of the data relevant to the WCB claim management. So what you're seeing is kind of a walkthrough of a real quick, and you can see some, some PHP 5 elements in here that are kind of getting relegated. And, uh, but what we built is an entire encompassing safety management, tracking, and WCB integrated uh, system. Some of the neat things that it does is it actually does uh, action item uh, forecasting. So if a number of conditions have been met in a WCB incident, it'll actually tell you some of the action items that you should be going through to clean it up, given your company policy and procedure. Uh, we have the ability to do sub-events, which Sean's kind of already walked through at the top. So if you have a truck that hits 50 other trucks, you're actually going to have 51 events. Uh, Alright, what else is next? Five minutes. Oh, we've got tons of time. Uh, another big aspect is, is this is a LDAP integrated, so it integrates into your Microsoft Windows Active Directory. It's also integratable into pretty much any ERP. So what we've done is we actually use this to leverage and integrate into company ERPs to take financial HR data, payroll data, and actually give it to the operations management without the overhead and encompassing costs of actually providing them with uh, an ERP license, because we're usually about five to $7,000 per head 
So what we've actually been able to do is, for much cheaper than that, provide the data out of the system that the people in the field will need for virtually free. Uh, one of the other big modules, thanks Sean, is phones. We actually created an entire cell phone management system, which is actually kind of almost a product by itself because a lot of these companies have anywhere between 1,500 and 15,000 cell phones. Nobody tracks them, nobody understands where they go, and we kind of we built this entire system. It's integrated into TELUS, eCare, it's in integrated into the Bell billing systems, and it'll actually parse the invoices out, create the bands, create everything else relevant to a phone. And then we can dispatch it to a payroll record to an employee that was created in the ERP, so we can kind of track it, we can generate reports from it, and we can actually do payroll deductions directly from the system, which is a, a larger aspect in the oil and gas service companies because when you give them a phone, they end up calling their wives and spending you know, four or five hundred dollars a month extra on their phones, so you actually get the deduction off of them. Uh, all right. What else should we show you guys? Uh, let's do transportation. One of the other big things we ended up getting into, and this has actually expanded since this demo, is uh, the CBIPs permits and qualifications. So what we've actually been able to do is build in dispatch controls. So if you're about to send an employee out to work, what the system will actually do is flag, hey, this guy doesn't have his confined space, which is a common certification to get employment or to be allowed on a site to actually perform some work. So the system, when you go to dispatch, that employee will actually throw up a flag and say, hey, please don't do this. This is against policy. This will actually get us thrown off of the site and anger our customers. Are you sure you want to do this? And if you do, you have to fill out a valid information box of why you're doing this. But I think at a whole part, that's pretty much it. We've got a bunch of little modules, but if anyone kicks to questions, that's fine. Business model? Business model? Uh, we've evaluated software as a service, but given the fact that it's a niche market, we've had the most support. We've actually uh, only got two implementations of it out now. We're just commercializing it, so we've just kind of broken away from our industry partner. We're taking it commercial. But given the industry and the nature of the industry, what we've ended up doing is it's looking like it's going to be a bigger sell as a fixed cost. So you buy it from us, you pay us yearly maintenance, just like an ERP. So today we've had no financing, we've had uh, no need for it actually, we've been quite, quite successful, and we've got a lot of interest. Anybody from the industry that's kind of seen it, it's kind of pushing the limits of what's out there today, which is in the industry service, it's a good thing to hear because there's a ton of money in it. So we've had a lot of, uh, a lot of positive feedback.